do you ever do something and the second that it's done you're like that was the wrong thing to do that was me um, a couple of hours ago erasing everything on my camera's SD card without uploading the clips for this video <laughs> So this is the second time I'm going to be doing a wear test for the Lipstick Queen Lipstick in Wine Metal. For this beginning bit, I still have some of the clips that I had originally filmed, so I'm going to intersperse those as I'm talking here, but afterwards it's going to be all me, current, stripey sweater. That's how you know. So as always, I'm going to start off by showing you the application process and read through what Lipstick Queen has to say about this lipstick. It says, Inspired by lipstick's own intrinsic magnetism, Poppy King has created five metallic lipsticks with an irresistible magnetic allure. These lipsticks have an intense satin metallic finish, which is achieved with the use of ultra-fine metallic pearls in high concentration with rich pigments. These are balanced with high levels of antioxidant vitamin E and incredibly nourishing apricot kernel oil, allowing a smooth, drag-free application ultra comfortable wear and leaves lips moisturized and cloaked with luxurious, rich, intense coverage. And it has some bullet points underneath. It says long wearing moisturizing formula, enriched with a protective antioxidant vitamin E and nourishing apricot kernel oil, iconic flattering and versatile shades, ultra fine metallic pearls for the ultimate magnetic allure. So the first thing that I noticed while I was applying this is that it's far less creamy than all of the other Lipstick Queen lipsticks that I've tried. Now I could just be biased because my favorite Lipstick Queen lipstick is the, um, which, what is it called? It's called Nothing But The Truth. It's from their nude lines and it's the one with a vinyl finish which is really just like an ultra creamy finish. That one is my favorite, so that in and of itself is going to be more creamy than their normal formula. But this formula did feel much more dry. I needed to like review the footage to see whether or not it like skipped or dragged at all while I was applying because now a couple minutes later I don't exactly remember. But that means if it did, it wasn't that bad. I also noticed that I was applying, that as I was applying it didn't feel like the color was um, as pigmented as it looks in the bullet. So like when I was applying it, it wasn't laying down as much color as I expected. That's not one of my favorite things to happen with a lipstick, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but I'm really loving the like overall look of it. It's almost like one of those matte metallic lipsticks where it doesn't have like a bunch of shine. It's not like a vinyl shine. It's not like a super wet looking shine. You can see that there's some like more definition, you know what I mean, to the lips. It's not like a chrome-like finish that sometimes you expect from a metallic. This promises to be both long wearing and moisturizing, so I'm very interested to see how long this is going to last. It is about 12.30, it's 12.25. I have just applied this lipstick. Last time I had it wear for almost like 10 hours. I'm not going to stay up until like midnight to see if it goes for the full 12 hours, but I will wear it as long as I can. That is all I have for you this time, and I will see you in a little bit. All right, so here we are. It is 3.15, about three hours into wear. Honestly, it is looking basically pristine. It looks almost the exact same as when I applied it. It's very, like, a tiny little bit starting to settle into the vertical lines of my lips, mostly on the upper lip. I think that's because it's just emollient enough that it's, like, starting to shift slightly. It is definitely transferring, which is going to affect the wear, but it's not transferring so much. Like, it's not like a cream lipstick. You know when you take like a sip out of something and you're wearing a cream lipstick and then it's like entirely gone? This is leaving like some smudges behind, but it's not like a full like lip imprint. But it is still kicking, so I will see just how long this guy's gonna wear and I will check in later. All right, here we are at nearly nine o'clock. So as I have been like eating and drinking this afternoon and you know, for dinner, um, it has definitely worn off the inside portion of my lips to like a noticeable degree. So when I'm talking, you can definitely see that the lipstick has worn away. You can especially see right here and right here that it has worn into like the lines of my lips and it did the exact same thing the last time I wore this lipstick. Now obviously if you were retouching it throughout the day, then you wouldn't really notice that. But it is noticeable because I have worn this twice without retouching and it's done the exact same thing. It's the kind of thing where like, if I were to keep my mouth totally relaxed and closed like this, you wouldn't notice that it has worn away. But as soon as I like start using my mouth, <laughs> as soon as I start talking, then it is definitely noticeable that it has worn off. That being said, I put this on 
almost nine hours ago. That is a very long wearing lipstick, especially for a lipstick that's in like a bullet formula. Usually I find those to be not nearly as long lasting as like a liquid lipstick, but this wore like up to liquid lipstick standards. So I am very happy with that. But as always, the full write-up and review will be on the blog later today, lipstickaday.com, and I will see you next time. Bye.